Alright, so this is a subject that I've been thinking about for a long time and I've actually done a lot of talking and apparently most of the American public is on my side when it comes to this issue. Um, and I really want to talk about this now that the first two steps in the repeal of um, the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy have already been put in place. Uh, the third one um, is going to be a little bit harder, but is not out of reach of possibility. Um, and what I'm talking about, of course, is the attachment of the um, the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, predicated on three um, three signatures um, by the president, the Joint Chiefs Staff, and I forget what the other one is. Um, uh, based on this um, repeal study. Um, once that is certified, then the read down mass don't tell within 60 days is bye bye. Um, a lot of people have been saying, well, why didn't they wait until after the repeal study to do this? And honestly, there's many answers, and most of those answers are right. Um, the answers are, are pretty basic. Um, the first and foremost answer is if we don't do it now, there may not be enough votes. Um, after the after the study is done to get the don't don't ask don't tell policy repealed um, that's just a stark fact I mean the the reality is there's a, about a 50 50 chance that Democrats could lose the house um, come November um, the chances are getting better uh, as the economy is starting to improve um, as the Wall Street reform is making its way through um, as things are starting to settle in on the health care um, and people are kind of letting that, you know, waver in the background. And, and as the as the far right, um, we're seeing the self destruction of Rand Paul. We're seeing, um, which by the way, I, I'm going to start doing videos on Rand Paul here sooner or later, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, but the real reason that this was done was twofold. Um, like I said, the first one was the potential loss of the House of Representatives um, come November. The second is November itself. Um, because of the health care debate, a lot of the people on the far left of far left of the community um, have said, you know what, I, they almost are like, why am I even going to try, you know, everything that we wanted uh, pretty much, you know, the you know single payer gone, um, public option gone. I mean, just all of the things, and even even the marketplace putting it a state by state, even that makes it even worse. Um, but the 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 thing about it is, is that they the Democrats needed to do something to get the the base back energized. And especially the gay community, because the gay community really is a huge chunk of the of the of the base. The two parts of the base that the, the, they need to mobilize are the gay community and the minority community. And I'm sorry, they already have the minority community because of the stupidity of the law in Arizona. Regardless if people think it was a good law or not. You know the law. You know, with regard, I I have my opinions on the law. I think it was a stupid law. Um, it was unnecessary. Um, all it really was was to do was to piss off people. Um, they could do. They could have done this without a law by just directing the, the police to you know just to you know to do what they should do anyways. Um, but that. But needless to say, what it did is piss off and basically lose. Um, any any um, any kind of support that the Hispanic community may have had for the Republicans pretty much just went Phew. so the Democrats had that locked in what they needed was another sector which was the, the gay community so this was a way to deal with this promise without really dealing with this promise it was a way to say we are dealing with don't ask don't tell Without dealing with "don't ask, don't tell," okay, what we're saying, and and it's a it's a brilliant move because what it does is it does mobilize the gay community. It does mobilize people to say, okay, if we want this to continue, 
We want to see the Workplace you know, Non-Discrimination Act go through. We need to keep the Democrats in power. Okay. We want to see the you know the FDA. Um, we want to see the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, um, lift the ban on you know gay you know on gays um, donating blood. We need to keep the Democrats in power. Um, every every aspect of this thing is designed to stoke the base. Now, some people are saying, "Well, they should wait," and I understand that. And this is this is a you know probably should have been the right way to do it. But there's there really is no right way to do it. This is a this is something that should have never existed in the first place. This is something that when it was done was promised it wasn't going to interrupt service, it wasn't going to cost a ton of money, it wasn't going to do anything that gays and lesbians were going to be allowed to outside of, you know, as long as they were, you know, you know, not saying anything inside of the service, they were fine. And you know what? That didn't happen. Okay? There's hundreds of cases where gays and lesbians didn't ever out themselves in the service. Okay, what well, they were just doing their thing, they were doing fine. No one ever said they never said a word. But other people did. Third parties. Third parties third parties came in and said, Oh, this person's gay. I saw him at a gay bar. Oh, this person's gay. Oh, they're that person's gay, or that person's gay. And guess what? Hundreds of thousands of I mean, sorry, millions of dollars have been wasted on training and firing of gay and lesbian soldiers okay and all of the 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 you know all of the things that they say oh if you allow gays and lesbians to serve openly you know you're gonna have you know all of these things like i have heard bullshit things like oh all of a sudden you know they're you know you're gonna be a lot you know you know soldiers with aids are gonna be in there infecting other soldiers uh that's bullshit because there's a rule that says you have HIV that you are not allowed to serve in the military. Sorry. That's that's already established rule. Okay? People like, oh, well, there'll be gay sex in there. As is if straight sex isn't already happening. Sorry. But this is bullshit. And it should have never been in place. The fact is this had to happen, and it's going to happen. And John McCain might try to, you know, which by the way he flip flopped on his own, you know, standing so that he can get in good with the far um, far right of his group, and he's still losing. So if you don't like, you know, if you don't like it, it's tough. Uh, don't ask, don't tell is going to go bye bye. Nothing's going to happen, just like in every other major, where, you know country in the world where gays and lesbians serve that's it get over it